happiest memories growing up almost always involve my family. We did really fun stuff. We'd rent houseboats in the summer, or one time we went and stayed up at this ranch and did all horseback riding for a week. We did a lot of camping, constantly swimming. We traveled as a family to Turkey, which was amazing. It was actually a beautiful day, and I was out walking all day, and I remember I sent my mom a, a picture of myself because I was just in such a good mood. And so I had been hanging out with one of my friends. We went to the movie theater. After we went to the movies, I decided to walk home because it was such a beautiful evening. The walk back to my house from the movies is about an hour. When I was walking home, I heard the car coming before I saw it. He hit a barrier on the other side of the road across two lanes of traffic, and he hit me. 50 kilometers an hour is what the speed I accelerated to in the air. I flew 40 feet, and I landed in blackberry bushes. I remember the sound of his tires driving away. And it was very loud and very fast. For a second, I, I almost didn't really believe it, that it was happening, that he was just going to leave me there to die. Help me! I was actually conscious there for almost five hours, screaming for help. Someone was in a boat across the water from me, and I guess my voice carried across the water, and he heard me and he didn't have a car, so he biked. Probably about a 40 minute bike ride. I just remember him calling to me and telling me over and over again that he called the ambulance, help was on the way. He said later that he turned the flashlight on his phone off when he got close to me because he was worried he would see me and pass out. What I have been told is that he had been hanging out with his friends and shotgunning beer, um, and he was 16 and all of his friends were screaming at him not to drive, and he got behind the wheel anyway. And then he left me there, of course. My ankle was broken. It was hanging out of my leg. My foot was facing the wrong way. My shin just exploded out of my leg. They had to hollow out what was left of my shin bone and feed a metal rod down through it to keep my leg the right length. My arm was almost severed. My bone came out in two places. It took three surgeries to clean all the mud out of my wounds because they got ground into my body while I was struggling. One of the hardest parts of my healing was the threat of amputation because at first it was the muscle graft. If the muscle graft didn't take, they'd have to amputate. When I was doing the bone grafting, if it had gotten even a mild infection, they would have had to amputate it. I'm spending all this work healing all this pain and all this suffering and blood, and I might not even be able to keep this leg. It took an enormous emotional toll on me. The hardest times for me are when I'm I'm hit in the face with things that I can't do anymore. I walked about three or four hours a day. Now I can walk about seven minutes. That's been really hard. All of the things that I had wanted to do with my life are gone. Um, I wanted to work with kids, and now I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be mobile enough to keep up with little kids, right? That's. And I'm, I'm exhausted all the time. I can't handle more than one course at a time. I feel like I've been thrown into this limbo and I'm not sure I'll ever be able to claw my way out. It becomes your identity. Your injuries become your entire life, right? Everything else that made you who you were before is gone and it's replaced by the results of somebody else's poor choice.